So there's originally a really long intro here, but that's come down to that this project took a long time due to tech issues and <laughs> keeping up with school. So that's where the delay was from. But this has been such a fun project for me, and I hope that everyone enjoys watching it. And take it away, me from a year ago. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is BlueFan09, and today we are doing another episode in the Phantom Tox YouTube series. And today's guest is Matt Rose. Hello, thank you for having me. Yes. So this one, this interview is an interesting one. I'll explain it once we get inside. First, I should point out that you do not have Minecraft, so I've constructed a version of you for here. Well, I am very aware of this because this is not our first crack at this. Yes, as you can see here, that was a month ago. A month ago, a month ago today. A exactly. month ago today. Basically, what had happened is that we had had an interview in January 2022, and this footage corrupted. So we had this other one in February of 2022. And this kind of led to this whole uh, theme of the past year of, in Matt Rose's words, Technology's rubbish. So what would you like to do in this interview? Basically, I just wanted to kind of talk about what happened in that first interview, so this is like an interview on that interview. If you want to add anything or just refresh the knowledge from the Excellent. footage, and if there's anything we can add to the tangents. Let's see if anything's changed in the last month. I'm certainly, I mean, I am now, I'm 32 now. When yeah. I was, 30, I was 31 during the original interview. You gained a so whole years of experience. Exactly. With this new elderly perspective, maybe <laughs> I might I might have a whole fresh new take on everything. My name is still Matt Rose. My YouTube channel is also still Matt Rose. Although it has gained in subscribers. Well, I hope so. It would yeah. be terrible if it was the other way around. The first actual question, what's your content like? And... In summation, you said that it's like Reddit videos, but with other sites. Do you still agree with that statement? Firstly, lovely use of in summation. I don't hear that a lot at all, so I, I enjoyed that. My content is it's reading out stuff from the internet, right? There's plenty of yes. those. A lot, a lot of, a lot of them use the text to speech voice that sounds like this, which I think is a real travesty. Cause it, it doesn't give uh, the content any sort of gravitas at all. My content, which, which was a niche I stumbled into completely accidentally. <laughs> I've always been fascinated with how odd and esoteric the internet is, right? The internet's yeah. great. So what I like to do is find all the weird bits from the corners <laughs> of the internet, read them in my bedroom, in my little British voice. I will also occasionally do a bit of cooking or, or, or something else which goes terribly wrong. Yeah, the, the, my, main, my main bread and butter is going onto Twitter and reading out tweets from idiots from 10 years ago and, and i must say that so the main thing that's happened is i did a video on furbies how would you describe a furby they are these tiny little almost animatronic type of things little toys and air quotes that are fun and <laughs> not scary in any way and they just speak their own language until they learn english or whatever language you speak yeah and oh, yeah. then they scare you once you either burn it or put it in your closet and hope that it never talks again nicely put i don't think they'll be using that for the packaging but you're absolutely spot on yeah little little robot owls that listen to you all the time They're prone to to terrible glitches as well i did uh so far my most successful video just yeah. document it's just quite simply just reading out stories of of people who had furbies it's remarkable what those what those little evil things got up to. Yeah, and that's that's currently at four point five million views. Parents doing emojis wrong. That one did blow up, and for a good reason. The image is then, so good. Your uncle Mark died. Skull emoji. Part part and parcel of reading out tweets was we'll say a lot of them have emojis in. Quite a lot of the time, I thought it was funny to to read out exactly what those emojis are. Because a lot of the time you use an emoji yeah. without, really, without really knowing technically what it denotes. You hover over a face and it will say what you're actually using there is, I don't know, 
a cross-eyed woozy face and you go oh <laughs> I, I thought that was supposed to be like the smug face i've been using that yeah. one all my life <laughs> the people that do that worst of all normally are people's parents yeah my, my parents are joking with it i did do a nice little video on parents misuse of, of emojis yeah. that was good fun to do i enjoyed doing that one yeah last time we talked you were gonna create the long furby I hadn't made the long Furby yet, really, when we last spoke. Yeah. Oh, well, that was an absolute nightmare. Did you watch that video? Oh, I watched it. I watched the glue. So whilst we're, let's do all this. Whilst we're still on Furbies, for those that don't know, there's something called a long Furby, which, as the name suggests, is a, is a Furby made grotesquely long. There's loads <laughs> of different ways to modify your Furbies. Oh, and I watch people make it on YouTube. It was it was it was kids that, that could make it very yeah. very easily, and I thought, well, I'm a grown man, so how hard can it be? And my God, that was one of the toughest things I've ever done, and it went so bad. As you probably saw, I spilt pot of glue Ooh. all over all over my carpet. That's 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 still that's still there. Every time I walk over that carpet, there's one <laughs> patch which is just like cement. It yeah. is bad. You can over it barefoot. I mean, you, you can stub your toe on it. it it's, oh, it's that dear. much solid now. In, in addition to fixing all the stuff that I broke in the kitchen, making the cooking shows, etc., <laughs> etc. Et so, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I do need to buy another rug. And, God, yeah, just to, to think that a month ago I was so blissfully unaware that that was all about to happen. Blissfully unaware of the glue incident of January 24th, 2022. I I know that Furby now is I've said from another video smash and cook it in a risotto and eat it out of how many okay. stars how would you rate it well I didn't die so two okay that's good you have a cooking series uh, cooking with Matt so I have cooking with Matt I mean the first thing I'll say is I, I, I am not a good cook so don't think that you're going to be learning any good cooking techniques. The, the, the reason I started it is because I got to 5,000 subscribers and I thought uh -huh. that's a bit of a milestone. I'll do something different. So I thought I'd, uh, I'd make Coke toast, uh, putting a load of cans of Coca Cola and some of those little sort of Coke bottle sweets uh -huh. into a frying pan, condensing it down into a syrup and having it on toast. And, and, and I, I genuinely thought I'd lost a tooth. Is it just hardened around my teeth oh. like, dental, like dental cement? And then oh. as I tried to pull, as I tried to pull the toast out, I thought my brittle thirty-one-year-old at the time teeth are not going to be able to take this. Thankfully, they did. I then said, "Oh, the next subscriber milestone I'll do at ten k." At the time, thinking I'll never reach that, but unfortunately, I did. So I had to cook someone else, and I've done six of them. They get increasingly more chaotic, painful, and toxic. Let it be known, I am cooking to the very best of my ability. I am that bad of a cook. I, I, I am the least well-equipped person to have a, have my own cooking show. The next the next cooking with Matt is at three hundred and twenty thousand subscribers. Uh -huh. I do it, so it went. It's gone five, ten, twenty, forty, eighty, hundred and sixty. The next one's three twenty. Lord knows what that will be. <laughs> Who knows? Also, how did you get started? Want to hear my notes real quick? Please. So I said misspelled pregnant video, girl, your girl, which your girlfriend liked. So then you made it yourself, and just by dumb luck, it it was really popular. Basically, so it is a a chap called JT Sexkick that did two real big videos about misspellings of pregnancy and Ouija board, and. <laughs> I, I do owe him a lot because I've kind of echoed his <laughs> kind of vibe. All of my videos are very fast paced, which is which is is how I like doing it. So yeah, you've barely you've barely recovered from one, and then it's on to the next. And there's some people that that's going, that just saying, Matt, slow down. But no, no, I, I, I'm a firm believer that the faster you do it, the funnier it is. And that is all from the original misspellings of pregnancy. Yes. Yeah. It would be like, I am Pregante. How do you get Pragnat? Are you Pragnanat? Boom, boom, boom. It's, Fast and still... Furious. Fast and Furious. It's all about family. 
Exactly. Yeah. For the next video, I'm going to want to go to space. And I'm going to be driving a car around in space, <laughs> growling, growling out the window. I kind of stole that from old JT Sets Kick. Because a lot of the reading, reading out funny stuff from the internet videos are quite slow, quite thoughtful. That, you know, let, let's say there's a funny tweet. So I'm going to read it out quite slowly, then they'll laugh about it, then they might read it again, and then they'll talk about it. And that, it, it, it takes about a minute for them to get through it. But I'm more than happy to bash it out in seven seconds onto the next one. The reason I started doing YouTube was because I emulated the misspellings of pregnancy video. So now I'm just trying to just keep it going. Thankfully, yeah. I managed to branch out into all sorts of into all sorts of weird avenues I never thought I'd go down. Yeah. What, what, one of the types of videos I make is uh, I go on to Omegle.com. Yes. Which is a, for anyone who doesn't know, a, a chat site where you are sort of persuaded to talk to strangers on the internet. And it, that goes about as well as it sounds it will go. What I do is I go on and I ask, I ask them things that they're probably not best equipped to answer. What they're certainly not expecting is, if you could have any superpower, what would you have? <laughs> or if you could combine any two animals for a pet, what would you do? And one of the ideas I have, actually, is to go on and ask them to design a new Pokemon. Oh, that would be great. I haven't. I think I try, I think I started doing it, but I kept getting disconnected and I, and I sort of right. rage quit. I, I, was, I certainly might come back to that. I can imagine you get some interesting answers. It is a, a very unique think tank. But they're, they're, they are not ready for any type of actual conversation. They are. I don't know. I don't know why that site really exists, but no. I'm very thankful it does because it <laughs> means that I just talk to the most bewildering people in the world. Yes. So we are finishing up talking about Omega because questions asked for friends at pubs. You'd go to the pubs to talk to your friends, and then you would ask the the type of questions that you would ask on Omega. Yes. I used to spend a lot of time in the pub. As a sort of 16, 17, 18 year old, ask my friends stupid questions and being able to sort of play off their responses in an amusing way. And I thought, if I can talk to my drunk friends about this, I can certainly talk to whatever sort of monster is on the other end of the <laughs> Omega screen. And uh, it's all worked out quite nicely. Yes. We were talking about finding motivation because you had a boring desk job. It was email after email, and it was kind of an escape from 9 to 5. Uh, your phone was ringing constantly then. Not just that. This is something I didn't say first time around. When COVID hit and we had to start working from home, my office job rerouted all the, every single call that my oh. department got through, through to my personal mobile. Oh. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, eh, day and night, day and night. 24 hours a day, even, you know, I think, oh, work's absolutely awful. I'll go and sort of, you know, have a, just, 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 just sort of have a five minutes of just sitting on the toilet. No, phone's still going, phone's still going berserk. Oh. And at that same point, coincidentally, was when my first YouTube video started accruing a lot of views. Huh. And so it, re it really didn't take much for me to go, right, no, quit. I'm not doing this office job anymore. That's a horrible job, horrible people, and I don't want any part of it anymore. The motivation to uh, start making YouTube videos a proper was mainly that I didn't want to get disturbed when I was trying to sleep or eat or do basic human things, just with, just with work calls constantly. Well, you need to study hard. Don't, don't get a desk job. Yes, that's what he said. Don't get a just desk job and don't that get caught doing a desk job. Again. This is, we had trouble with that the first time. Jesk yeah. dob. <laughs> J Jesk dob or desk Don't job. Get Don't get a Jesk dob. And we also, what you won't have heard, because you weren't recording, <laughs> is I tried to say Nigella Lawson. It kept saying Nigella Norson. <laughs> Nigella Norson with her Jesk dob. <laughs> with, with the Jesk dob. What do you specifically enjoy about content creation? What do I love about content creation? I love... Uh, it's the response from other people because 
It's quite a lonely job of being a content creator. You know, my other half goes out to work and she has co-workers and after work drinks and stuff like that. I'm just in my bedroom on a laptop getting <laughs> content and screaming it into a microphone then editing it all, all, all on my own. So when I first put it up, it, it, it's lovely having actual people say, you know, comment on it. It makes me, yeah. it, it convinces me that I'm not completely insane just, just doing this on my own. So yeah. If it wasn't for uh, the nice comments, and of course, I get so much fan art and fan mails, especially yes. furry related, which is, and I, I read every single one and try to reply to them all. That's what I do it for, really. Is, yeah. is, 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 you know, not, not, not just people saying, oh, that was a really good video, it really made my day, but also saying, not just that, I, I've drawn you holding <laughs> a furry. With blood coming out of your eyes, lol. Oh, no, that's fantastic. <laughs> then we talked about the GIF incident. So basically, it was in a server I'm in, two in the morning, and this person did not know, does not, did not remember typing it. Okay. Well, I've got that message up in front of me. Yeah. If you want to read it out, <clears throat> this is from Tessa uh, at two twenty a.m. Tessa says. While I'm wundum dumala whenever, so my arm kike mokwasig, and then my calm went off. I tell you what, I'll read to a sewer in the morning. <laughs> it's it's just so so good. It's just in such a great quote, and then it was followed by a gif of a grandma dancing. Crossing. Yeah, it. Crossing grandpa. It it was great. It. I would love to know what she what 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 Tessa meant, especially with my arm kike mogwooks. Yeah, I. I I don't know what happened there. I, I I think the only reason you would ever write a message about your arm is if something's wrong with your arm. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Now, of course, the only information I have to go on is that her arm is Kike Mogwooks. <laughs> yeah. And, that, and then Tessa's calm went off. <laughs> this is what was sent. See, Sig. Dree! <laughs> that is indecipherable. It is indecipherable. And then they also joined a voice call. It's such a confident <laughs> gift. To send alongside all this gibberish as well. Yeah, and then it was, sorry, I'm better right now. Basically, I had my phone out and fell asleep in Discord and had my arm, but my arm moved. I guess I typed a bunch of things. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. I, I mean, from reading out so many tweets, you'd think I'd have a really good head for gibberish now. Yeah, that I is. I can't work out what it's supposed to be. At, anyways, that was something that happened and. Our recommendation was get some sleep. <laughs> if I had to give any bit of advice for putting out any sort of content, any sort of entertainment of anything, uh, only write or, or only draw or only create something that you would like. There's no point. It's, it's painful making something. If you're ever doing something that you don't like, but you think, oh, well, other people might like it. That's no way to live. That, 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 that's, that's, that's painful. Yeah. Make something that you enjoy. And, you know, if you're making a song, make the sort of music you would listen to. Write a script, the TV that you would watch. It's a nice, easy rule of thumb, but it does, it does get forgotten. There's a lot of things of, like, clickbait, and it, it's really, like, a hard line to balance. If it's in the video and you're not overplaying it, then that is fine. It's yeah. constantly evolving, right? As soon as one type becomes known as, well, that's obviously clickbait, it stops? I don't know, actually. I'm, yeah. I, I, still, I still get adverts that say 9 out of 10 doctors can't explain this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's been doing the rounds for years. Don't make clickbait. Yeah. Make, make, make a video that when people click on it, they're going to enjoy it, uh, and you can be proud of it. As long as you're going, as long as you're constantly improving, that's great. If anything, you want to be able to look back at your old videos and go, wow, I'm a lot 
better and sharper than I was back then. It's only it to be the other way around. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's because you're, you're learning, and yeah. you've got you've got that mantra, which is, you know, am I enjoying watching this? Yes, I am. But would I enjoy it more if I was to do that? Yes, I would. So yeah. I'll do that. It yeah. uses that. Make the videos that you enjoy watching, because odds are that if you enjoy watching it, other people will as well. Yeah. And something that we both would avoid, enjoy watching is an Eric Whitaker TV show. When yeah. I was, my first ever job was working at Sausage Shack. Sausage yes. Shack was a company that sold hot dogs. I dressed up as a baseball player. It was a very bad establishment that fought in most <laughs> safety rules. It was owned by two men, both named Michael Whitaker. No relation. When I first told that story, not 20 minutes ago, but a month ago, you said yeah. that there was an Eric Whitaker that was yes. a famous composer that possibly cheated on his wife or his wife cheated on him. Mm -hmm. And his, because oh, his yeah. wife was a soprano, he wrote hard soprano music. Gotcha. Now, back a month ago, we spent about half an hour <laughs> trying, to, trying to discuss yeah. what, we, what we thought would be the best title TV show which covered this drama. You, I believe, now have the best answer to that very niche question crescendo just because you know it's, it's about music getting louder over a period of time build up the drama it, you know the it's the best they got yeah 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 there's there's probably something i could do maybe specific to him but i didn't put too much research into it yet you pop his little face in the o of crescendo oh that would be great actually like a little eric whitaker emoji um, yeah, you know, you know, maybe that should be uh, one of the Discord emojis on your server. Uh, <laughs> I, I wonder if Apple introduced an Eric emoji, how often it would get used in sort of <laughs> messages like that. Probably not very often. It might obtain its own weird meaning, though. Yeah. It might be like, if you've heard about a party you've not been invited to, you do a little, a little Eric Whitaker. Is he, is he, is he Whitaker? He's, he's Whitaker us. He's Whitaker us. He's And we also talked about weekly schedule, but basically Tuesday, you put together video and research Wednesday, record Thursday, upload. Sometimes you procrastinate because you got horizon four on your PC. Now it's two. Hor Hor horizon two on the PS five. No, I know, I know, I know <laughs> where you, where you went awry there. It's horizon forbidden West is the full name of the game. So I you just see. Went horizon four and, and just stuck with that. But yeah, I did. I'm, I am playing a lot of it at the moment, and, and, and my schedule is quite loose because I I am at the end of the day my own manager. And as it turns out, I am quite a quite a lax boss. I do give myself days off, but obviously it's good to try and schedule. I try my darndest to chuck a video out every week. It's a very good upload schedule. Oh, thank you. Yeah, like, like we were saying, the Omega ones do take horrendously long time to do because not only are they a nightmare to to edit and to voice over every conversation you see on, on one of my Megal videos, I've had a hundred people disconnect. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it's good to have a schedule. It's very important to have a schedule. We also mentioned strengths. Their strengths, which was a good Furby voice and speaking gibberish. We then mentioned how we made a joke saying that it'd be only useful at the soon to be coming Furby store. Yeah. I think it's about the only job which having a strength of doing a Furby voice would be able to get you. Well, yeah, no, well, actually, I was thinking like an entrance creator, you know, one big person in a Furby costume saying, Welcome! That was not bad. Thank you. I, I just pulled that out. I don't know where it came from. That was really good. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Inevitably, at some point down my career path, I will be wearing a full body costume full body animal costume uh speaking in a funny voice i'm amazed it's not happened already um well well now that you've said that people are going to create fan art of that just letting you, you could know have a furby restaurant and I, I could i could i could welcome you into that that would be that would be quite interesting yeah i would like to see it now talking about restaurants Aladdin would be the name of our Aladdin pantomime, which was played by professional chefs. I'll tell you where this idea came from. 
This is because uh, during our original interview, you said, Matt Rose, I've looked through all of your tweets. <laughs> I, I, I looked through very, a lot, yeah. I found this very interesting one from nine years ago. <laughs> I thought, what fresh hell is this going to be? But it wasn't too bad. It was as a pantomime idea, which I can't believe has not been done. Yeah. All, the, <laughs> all the actors are celebrity chefs. Yeah, with, that, that would be great. Ainsley Harriet as the genie, Jamie Oliver as Aladdin, yep. Gordon Ramsay as Jafar. Jafar, and it'd be called Aladdine. Aladdine. And, and Nigel Lawrenson? I don't know who the person you were saying was. Nigella Lawson? There we go. <laughs> Nigella Lawson as Jasmine, as opposed to Nigel Lawrenson. That's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> I am. I know Gordon Ramsay. I know some people from the American TV shows, and I know Paul Hollywood and Mary Berry and Prue Leaf. There we okay. go. That There's is. I also know Jacques Pepin. Look he up is a... Nigella Lawson. You'll be you'll be pleasantly surprised. Okay. I love that. Imagine if I'd asked for Nigella Lawson. Oh. And you bring in <laughs> you bring in some sweaty hairy guy. Who's that? Nigel Lawson. Nigel Lawrence for Nigella Lawson. <laughs> there actually is a Nigel Lawrence who is on LinkedIn. Is there indeed? This is who's going <laughs> to be playing uh, Jasmine. Oh, that's a confident man. That is a oh, confident man. So he's smoking a shisha. That is not a good LinkedIn profile. Probably Did one of the worst I've ever make... seen. Unbelievable LinkedIn photos. Are you going to be able to put this on the video? Probably not. <laughs> no, it's fine because that's not illegal. You 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 can smoke a shisha. It depends what's okay. in the shisha. But now where were we? Taskmaster. Finally, we got back around oh, yeah. to it. You had a podcast that was like very similar to that whole setup. So Taskmaster is my favorite show. If you've never watched Taskmaster, I strongly recommend it. Taskmaster is a show where it's mainly UK based, although there has been yeah. an American version, and there's been. Uh, the, is there the, an American the, version? They did one series, but I don't wow. think it did very well. That There's is a, a shame. The New Zealand version is fantastic. The gist of it is comedians are set silly and very difficult challenges, which are <laughs> awarded points, and uh, there is a winner declared at the end. I've been doing this for years since before it came out. I had a podcast much like yours that was called Swallow Your Pride. My co-host was called yeah. Chris Swallow. We'd get my friends on and we would set them challenges to do. Tasks, if you will. It sort of bled into my videos because going back to a Meggle, there was, it's sadly been removed now, but there was something called spy modes. You could write a question and watch live two people discuss it. But what I used that feature for was to set two people tasks. Ah. And say, have a, have a very polite rap battle. Take it in turns to describe how a black hole works without using the letter E. Stuff like that. That's stuff great. That would, again, stuff that would tax these people on Omegle. Stuff that would surprise them. Because they're just used to sitting around going, MOF. Activate their neurons. Activate their neurons. That's a lovely way of putting it. Thank you. So, Taskmaster is huge. There's a, a new series of Taskmaster coming out. It's always my dream yes. to go on Taskmaster. One day. One day. And one, one of the Cooking with Matt shows that I did, I think for 80k subscriber special, yeah. my girlfriend set me a task and I had no idea what it was going to be. And I opened it and it was cook the best meal using ingredients in this bag whilst wearing these goggles. Oh, these yeah. Goggles you popped on and it made you see everything upside down. Well, these goggles came as part and parcel of a board game. But the board game is... You know, it's like wear these glasses and try to, you know, pour a glass of water or hop on one foot or stuff like that. Certainly at no point is it advised that you put these glasses on, fire up a stove <laughs> and, 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 and pour oil into a pan and, and, and cook a meal. Whilst also, whilst that's cooking, wield a very sharp knife <laughs> in order to cut up some bananas to make a pudding. Yep. Absolute pandemonium, and how I didn't end up in hospital is 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 anybody's guess. Yeah, 
you watch Dark Monster, right? You've, you've, yeah. You watch Dark Monster. I, I've, watched, I've watched everything that's available on YouTube. <laughs> how, how do you think you would be if you were submerged into the Taskmaster world? I think I would do decent, at least third place. I, I, I would definitely, like, take a look around my environment, because I feel like that's something that's very important. Absolutely. Try and sort of work outside the rules, try and... Be yeah, clever or... be a be a bit clever, but not, you know, because they, they've been more. You can see how they've been more strict. When, but like when there's like, oh, that looks like Morse code, and then it was Morse code. It's like, oh, maybe you should have put the clues together. <laughs> well, now you're quite right. Now the tasks they've got a lot more legalese in order to stop people trying to work around it. We were talking about end of the year quiz 2021 and how that's a British TV show, but Jonathan Ross was in it. And I was talking about he was the host of Penn and Teller Fool Us and how I had a whole magic phase when I was younger. Do you remember this? No. So then you asked if I like still had any tricks that I remember. I was thinking, oh, there is some, but I was also talking about if I looked around and said... Like, there's magic here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and you said that it would be such a good quote. And then I said something to the extent of, there's magic here somewhere, and that magic is inside all of us through the power of friendship. There's good. It's not, it's not a magic trick, though, is it? It's, it's not a magic trick, but it's very good. And that is what the ending, that little sign was from. So, I can't. I have... I have absolutely zero memory of that. I'm just taking your word for that. We're talking about the Q&A that you did on your Discord server. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Someone asked you what your favorite type of cheese was, which I think you responded with Brie. You no. mentioned how you never got to the recording process and then scrapped a video. Both of those are still accurate, although goat's cheese is very quickly... Uh, nipping, at Bree's, nipping at Bree's heels at the moment. Apart from that, those answers still remain valid. I would like to imagine that Bree is just a person, and it is a literal goat just biting at her heels. <laughs> <laughs> Someone asked you, if you could say anything in the world, what would it be? This was the very last question that I was given, which yeah. w w w was the it was the biggest, most existential kind of you know, question. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was going to be, what's your second favourite cheese or something like that? <laughs> Not what message of hope we're going to send to the whole world. And yeah. I said, what did I say? Relax. You said, just like, just relax. You asked me what I would say, or I mentioned it, and I said I would like either play Montero for like 20 minutes or Lo-Fi over the world broadcasting systems. Basically, in my head, I was imagining it as a tiny little radio broadcast room, like in this bunker heavily protected by the UN or something. They'd, I, they'd, use it, they'd use it in case of emergencies to declare meteorite coming or alien invasion or something like that. Yeah. So it comes out of yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, yeah. And I was trying to say where the prime meridian and the equator meet. I completely forgot the word for prime meridian. I think I said puppy downline. Then you said, wow, that sentence just went downhill. And I was like, okay, I'm going to stick to my guns. And I said, it's where the uppy down line meets the side to side line. It's still one of the most wonderful things I've ever heard. Then I mentioned something else that you said on your Twitter, which was electricity. Yeah, I think I'm reasonably smart, but if someone asked me how electricity works, I would be dumbfounded, something like that. I still don't quite know how, 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 yeah, how computers work. A diesel generator makes sense, you know, because that's, it's a flammable liquid and it's reacting to that. I don't really know what electricity is. It, it's um, just like electrons going through wire? I don't know. Now, is that the uppy downy wire or is that the side to side wire? Um, it's the, um, squiggly orangish reddish one, wire yeah that one yeah, yeah that yeah. one and that's and that's how electricity is made yeah yeah actually yeah but now i know now, now I, know. I know i wish i wish someone had told me you also have a blog yeah i haven't done anything in a while so my one of my favorite journalists uh hunter s thompson okay uh, he was a journalist who was sent to write 200 words 
on a motorcycle race in Las Vegas ah. for a sports magazine back in the 70s, I think. He came back with a book. He came up with a novel. He went through <laughs> that. Went, what are you talking about? And what he'd done is he'd missed the motorcycle race completely and <laughs> then he just got absolutely drunk as a skunk and explored what it is to uh, pursue the American dream in Las Vegas. That's a type of journalism called gonzo journalism, which is very much putting yourself in the story and letting everything happen around you. But came a little bit obsessed with that. And so I've done about, I don't know, 30 articles on my yeah. blog, Fat, Pro, Fat Pros, Matt Rose. Yeah. And, and each of them is, I set myself a very, very difficult question. Yeah. Can you control the weather? Yeah. Can you remember your birth? Stuff like that. And then I'll try everything in my power to answer that question. But usually, much as everything I do in life, it ends up with me spending a lot of money, being very, very drunk, getting injured, and ultimately not finding out what I was trying to do at all. It is good fun. And I think the articles are quite good. Yeah, I, I read through part of them and I really like them. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. I, did, I did a nice one on getting frozen after you die. Tra Travelled the length of the country interviewing people that had signed up to get frozen. I myself went in like this chamber which got to minus 130 degrees Celsius or something crazy wow. to see what it was like. And both my knees turned purple. Oh dear, that's not yeah, yeah, good. I, <laughs> I, I, I hate cold weather anyway, so it was a stupid <laughs> kind of article for me to pursue. But so yeah, Fat, fat Pros, Matt Rose, is what I was, basically, that's how I escaped the horrors of my miserable office job before uh... YouTube. I think at that bit, I was like, oh, like and subscribe. That's, I don't know. I think that's one of the notes I have. Uh, you should do that to both of our channels. I am, oh, I am activating sticky keys. Whoopsies. Um, do you want, no, sorry. That has not happened to me in a while. We, uh, the yeah. last thing you want to do, during, during a like and subscribe, never want to make a mistake during a like and subscribe. No, that's, I think that actually undoes it. So I'm going to have to say it again. Hey guys, Once remember to... Like and subscribe to both of our channels. Sorry, third try. Um, <laughs> hey guys, remember to like and subscribe to both of our channels. Yay! Uh, you shoot, shoot. We're looking. Uh, um, yeah. Okay, there we go. Nothing went wrong. I don't know what you're talking about. Why don't you, why don't you tell the audience why they should like and subscribe? Okay. But you cannot use the letter A. Go. I set this up in November. Good start. <laughs> it, good, job it good job it wasn't April. Yep. It's been so long and super. Ah! I'll say and. Mustn't say and. Oh, oh. Eh. The French oh. word. Uh, eh. Oh, eh. <laughs> eh. Oh. Eh. It's been super duper fun. Very good. It's That's been. It's been. <laughs> ah, shoot. Um, why they, but yeah, no, it's just, yeah, yeah, it's been, okay, I started this, no, why do I keep on doing this? I'll tell you what, Greg Davies would, would be demolishing this. Let me do my next bit, uh, Greg is, is super duper good looking, there we go, there we go, now, now he now he'll like it. I love it. Why all the super dupers? Um, adjectives are hard to do without a. <laughs> yeah, no, fair enough. Well, I think you've done. I'll give. I'll give you that's a round Thank of you. applause there. Very, very, very good. So your last bit of advice that only you could give was just to have fun with it. Don't go chasing after the algorithm and do what makes you happy. Do you still stand by all of those things? Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's very easy to get sucked down the avenue of, of, of chasing what's hot, chasing views. And, but, but if it's ever at the detriment of, of what you want to do or what you like doing, then that's definitely a slippery slope. And before you yeah. know it, as soon as you start as becoming a chore, 
to make these videos, and which will definitely happen if you start doing things that you don't want to do, but other people, you know, it looks like other people want to watch. Yeah. Then you're going to start hating it and hating yourselves. It's yeah. only a, I was, was going to say it's only a job at the end of the day. It's not even a job. It's only, it's only a hobby at the end of the day. It's only yeah. a fun. Don't, don't go going crazy over it. Yeah. And then I said that, I've said that in every job. This is why this is why bosses universally hate me. Because <laughs> Nine out of ten I, bosses hate this man. Find out why they hate him, yeah. <laughs> I mean, every job I do I am always the first to just tell people, Well relax, it's only a job, you always get another one. <laughs> it's, it's, it's only a, a room you gotta sit in to get money to buy stuff you don't really want. <laughs> yeah Like a new just, rug in case you spill glue on it. Well, that was <laughs> yeah, that was a bad, bad mistake on my part. I yeah, welcome that, I welcome that glue into my house. Yeah, and then it goes and does that. It's just, it's just, it's discourteous. Yeah, it could have been made better. It could have been made better that when knocked, it could have just wobbled and then gone back up. I mean, I think what we're saying is, if there's one thing for sure, I'm certainly not to blame. Yeah, exactly. Blame the Furby. Glue. Shoddily made glue and silly absorbent rugs. <laughs> yes. And I'm just trapped in the middle. What can I do? But uh, yeah, fi final words, I suppose. Yeah. As, as, as long as you're enjoying it, as, uh, as long as the videos that you put out, you're enjoying making and enjoying watching, one day I'll pick up. So carry on doing it. Uh, we're going to do another uh, just because, uh, but also this bit. I took some notes. I mentioned that it's been over a year, which it has, which is great. Uh, I mentioned each of the people I interviewed, as you can see here. And then I mentioned having audio problems in the past. Okay. And then I put in all caps, foreshadowing, and then we have the best quote ever. That was great, in full, perfect audio quality. Well, I, so are you saying, do you think that we should do... That was great as this sign. Oh, whatever you want. You okay. can you can choose if you, it's it's your second mark. Well, can I put um Nigel Lawrence and was here? <laughs> yes. Perfect. Um he, he he will never know that he has <laughs> the sign. <laughs> if ever he finds out, he will go, Well what what planets have aligned such that I, a shisha smoking micro engineer from an aerospace company, am involved in this podcast? You know. Oh wait, and wow, this is actually a really great day. It is. It's Tuesday. Yeah, two, 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 two. It's a lovely day. Tuesday, two, 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 oh, Next. two, two. I messed that up, but whatever. Um, yeah, he'll he'll never know. But like you know, I don't think he was gonna know anyways. Uh, with the way he was going. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, I think that'll be wrapping up for this video. And hopefully, you guys see this. <laughs> okay, see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.